all right in this session let us see how to run test using the test name we will use an option of pytest minus k option which will help us run the test using test name actually using a substring of the test name i am kumar and welcome to my channel on tech and tutorials so the minus k option enables us to pass an expression in the command line and with the certain names based on the test names you can provide the expression and as a substring of the test name and it will actually run the test based on the on that expression and you can actually use the same way of and or not whatever we have seen in the markers the same way you can use it for the minus k option also okay let us do one thing let us go to the command prompt okay we'll close this okay and python workspace and we need to go inside pytest automation and we have to enable our virtual environment now this is fine let me clear the screen okay so using the minus k option we have to run our test minus v and then minus k say we want to run the test based on the name module whatever module test we module and actually yeah so then this command is going to run the test for the test whose names are all module and uh, okay so before that let me let me just remind you that earlier i was saying we can provide with the test name so it's not only the test name test function name so if we go inside the test module you see these are the test names test function names test a1 test a2 and um, this but the file names are test underscore module one and test underscore markers one these are file names or module names so i was saying we can use the minus k option for the test names but uh, we can also use the minus k option for the module names or the file names also so let us run this test okay so this is a huge list and if you come above you can see that all these test modules which has module as the name are run here Set by test topic we have module 0101 and then inside the module we have all these tests so all these are being run here so that is the basic functionality of minus k okay so let us look into one option we can actually put the db dash no which is going to not give all these track trace in our output here so dash dash db means trace back and equals to no means it's not going to show me all this assertion stack trace exceptions and all let us try to run this again and you should see that this only my pass fail summary is provided in my output okay so let's go back to our minus k option so we have seen we can filter out or we can select the test based on the test module next let us actually use the ones so let us run only the case test which are named as case and let us see that what all test runs here so we have case 0, 01 0, 02 0, 03 inside skip test and module 0, 02 has things so those are the tests only which are going to run so we have seen how you can filter out using the minus k for the modules as well as for the test function names okay the next thing which we want to see is we can also use case or that means it's going to select whatever is case and for example we have test whose names are str and let us see that okay so now we are seeing all the test which names it starts with which names includes str as well as case only okay and the other thing is you can also mix between the case as well as the modules so let us see the case ones case ones we'll have skip test and and module 02 so we also have some test which name as fail x fail and now in our minus k option we provided a mix of module name which has x fail as well as case which is inside the test function okay so that is fine now what we want to do is we want to module so let's run our module once again and see that what all tests are there so we don't want to see this case zero ones that also we can do we can provide this and not case and this 
case uh, test underscore case zero one and case zero two should not be run now. And you see that only the other tests are run here. Okay. So that's about the minus k option. How to provide a sub substring of your test name or your module name to run selectively what test you want to run. Okay. That's all in this video. Hope it was helpful to you. Thanks a lot for watching.